morning friends today we are going rummaging so it is the quarterly charity rummage that i have shared with you before but i thought it'd be fun to bring you along again today and then show you whatever i get at the end so a friend is coming to pick me up we are going to ride together and we are going to get some shopping in and some rummaging find some decor hopefully some clothing pieces for my girls myself and just have a fun time out rummaging and thrifting it's fill a bag for four dollars or 50 cents an item so let's get shopping back from the charity rummage and I spend nine dollars on all of these items here so I'll go through and just show you what I found okay let's start with the haul here and I'm gonna start with home decor so baskets I got several baskets this first cute little basket it looks handmade because it's not straight or even it's got a darker texture to it but putting maybe some bar soaps in there. You can organize things in a cupboard even with this. I couldn't pass it up. You all know I'm a sucker for baskets. Thinking ahead to a garden season, picking produce. It's so fun to have cute baskets to pick produce. So just this long oval narrower one that would be really cute to put even cut flowers in or cucumbers, green beans. 
and then this larger one my friend also got one for herself because they were two just like this so again cut flowers in these just your produce a uh, small amount of tomatoes whatever you can get your peppers so this one does say mexico so it's probably made in mexico but i just love having these baskets and you can even hang them on the wall as decor so maybe that's something i'll have to do and though so they're just really easy to take off the wall and go pick some produce with all right i picked up this plate it is it's very dirty but that's okay things can be washed and it has like a maroon texture little um maroon color sorry some blue some pink flowers on there it says waterloo potteries trademark so it is porcelain semi-porcelain and made in england so cute little plate there be fun to hang this on a wall to serve little treats on something of that sort and i then am a sucker for blue and white it looked like it used to hang so this is um, from the state capitol souvenir of washington dc so i just like the blue and white look so very pretty of the colors there it's got like washington monument the white house jefferson memorial lincoln memorial very patriotic with having the state capitol and some of our monuments on there with that okay my friend pointing this out and such a great idea so with us who have cut flowers in our garden getting little vases and then gifting them to neighbors and friends that way you don't need these back but I thought this was a really cute jar. It's gonna need a little work on cleaning that out. And then isn't this just a little adorable vase uh, for a few flowers in there? Again, it's gonna need a little cleaning out, but these two I thought would be fun to give to neighbors with a bouquet of flowers and not expect them back. So that's, I love that idea, buying things that are pretty and can be reused for that person when they get it. Then just a mug, another one says pray. Blessings come down when prayer goes up. So it's a spiritual harvest company. I think this is another good mug for our espresso machine because it's short and stout and you need to fit a short and stout mug under our um, Reville espresso machine. So this is super cute, colorful mug. All right, gray and white throw blanket cannot pass up throw blankets and i might even need a few more for over at our little airbnb that we have so i thought this was just a really nice light throw blanket it's still nice to have blankets in the summer and this one is light enough it'd just be kind of cozy to toss over yourself in the summer months all right, I got these yellow cloth napkins. I thought, oh, it's fun to have a color for summer. So I'm going to be using these. There's just four of them, I think I got. So just really pretty little yellow cloth napkins there. I believe this is the last home decor piece. So I didn't buy it for the pillow, although it is really kind of pretty. I bought it for the insert because it is a down, like almost a down filled insert. So oh maybe kind of dirty <laughs> i need to hit that out a little bit but dust was flying there i bought it for the inserts so if you can find these type of inserts at your thrift stores at garage sales instead of buying them off of amazon it's a super affordable way and then just replace your pillow cover and so then if you want to add a different decor piece for a different season you've got a pillow cover you've already got your insert and these are really good quality inserts Okay, just a few kid things here. Just a couple little books for my youngest, the hard hardcover books because those are nice for her when she likes to just chew on everything. Okay, I found these shoes. <laughs> I'm not just sure what I really think of them. They say beach or it's beacon fashion and fit. So they are my size. They have a really good support to them. I didn't know if they'd be good for like an inside shoe because my feet hurt if I stand on our hard floor in the kitchen um, all day and like with canning season coming up, it might be nice to have a good shoe 
to wear inside and I know a lot of people have house shoes inside these are just really funky and colorful so I got those and then I got some little kids shoes so my daughter has been wanting some flip-flops just to run outside in and they are nice because they have the little back piece and then I could not pass these adorable little shoes for my one-year-old she just turned one um, so I think these will fit her and they're just so cute even if they're just for wearing to church because she's not really walking yet either so those are just cute little shoes there all right some clothing pieces I found this skirt will not fit me it is to resell but it's the Massimo brand it's a corduroy um, brown it's got a pocket there a little kind of a little slit in the front a zipper and a little hook there no pockets in the back but it would be about knee length to have and I thought that would probably sell pretty well um, as well and then a few things another skirt to resell this would be rather short for me it's really cute just a little bit short it doesn't have a brand on it but these are really popular right now so just a short kind of faded ripped skirt there um, with a lot of distressing I picked these up for my husband they looked a little bit short so I'm not sure if they'll actually fit they are his size they're the Morona brand kind of like that beachy look of a short and then a couple more shirts for myself I found this Espress um, skimming tee just a v-neck a nice green v-neck I like these darker green colors you'll see I picked up another green item but that'll be nice to wear in the summer just with some high-waisted shorts or a skirt then this is a really pretty color of a shirt it's old navy I love this pink color it's a little lower in the back than the front and just really liking that texture it's not like a full sleeve but it's not like a tank top like this either so it's kind of like a cap sleeve and last piece is this fun <laughs> green well, it's kind of like a light fall jacket actually and then it has like the elbow pad on it it is mine brand is what it's called m-i-n-e and then it also has like that pattern in the hood as well and just some little detailing around the waist there it has one, a couple of button pockets as well so all of this to say was nine dollars for everything I got fun going with a friend I've said this before go with friends because it makes it more fun to shop with them but hope you enjoyed coming along to this charity rummage and seeing the haul we'll talk with you in the next video